A broken yellow line between two lanes of traffic means A. Both lanes of traffic are going in the same direction. B. Passing is permitted when it's safe. C. Passing is not permitted. B. Passing is permitted when it's safe. Dashed yellow lines separate single lanes of traffic moving in opposite directions. Passing is allowed when there is no oncoming traffic in the passing lane. To improve visibility lowered by rain or fog, drivers should use their A. Low beam headlights B. High beam headlights C. Parking lights You are entering a freeway. Check traffic on the freeway by A. Using your rear view and side mirrors B. Using your rear view mirror C. Using your side mirror and looking over your shoulder C. Using your side mirror and looking over your shoulder When entering any roadway, you must be aware of traffic conditions. Use your side mirror and look over your shoulder to help you see and anticipate traffic when entering a freeway. Any amount of alcohol in the blood may affect a driver's a. Right-of-way privileges b. Judgment and physical coordination c. Knowledge b. Judgment and physical coordination a driver's ability to safely operate a vehicle may be impaired at any BAC level, even a level lower than the legal limit. Any amount of alcohol can affect one's judgment and physical coordination. Driving under the influence of even a small amount of alcohol can lead to criminal charges. Want to ace your DMV test? Click on the link below and get your guaranteed cheat sheet. This road sign means A. Sharp turn to the right ahead. B. Upcoming sharp left and right turns. C. Winding road ahead. C. Winding road ahead. Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. This sign warns the driver that there is an upcoming winding road. Speed should be adjusted appropriately. You want to park uphill on a two-way road and there is no curb. Which direction do you turn your front wheels? A. Straight ahead. B. Right, toward the side of the road. C. Left, toward the center of the road. This sign means. A. There is a 35 miles per hour speed zone after the curve ahead. B. Drive no slower than 35 miles per hour around the upcoming curve. C. Approach the upcoming curve at a speed of 35 miles per hour or slower. C. Approach the upcoming curve at a speed of 35 miles per hour or slower. Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. They alert you to conditions that are immediately ahead. These signs may be accompanied by speed advisory plaques that indicate the speed with which you should proceed. At a crosswalk. A. You must yield to pedestrians. B. Pedestrians must yield to you. C. Construction workers must yield to you. A. You must yield to pedestrians. Pedestrians have the right of way at street crossings but must obey traffic control signals. Where a traffic signal is not present, vehicles must stop for pedestrians in a crosswalk, whether it is marked or unmarked. There is no crosswalk and you see a pedestrian crossing your lane ahead. You should A. Make eye contact with and then pass the pedestrian. B. 
Slow down as you pass the pedestrian. C. Stop and let the pedestrian finish crossing the street. As the percentage of alcohol, BAC, in your blood increases, you become A. More intoxicated. B. More sober. C. More coordinated. A. More intoxicated. Blood alcohol concentration, BAC, is a measure of the percentage of alcohol in a person's blood. The higher the BAC, the more impaired a person is. If you experience a tire blowout, A. Tap or pump the brakes. B. Slow down gradually and use your brakes lightly. C. Apply the brakes firmly and quickly. B. Slow down gradually and use your brakes lightly. If you experience a tire blowout, you should slow down gradually by taking your foot off of the accelerator. Don't apply the brakes until the vehicle has slowed considerably. When a car with bright headlights drives toward you at night, you should A. Stop until the other driver passes. B. Look below their headlights. C. Glance toward the right edge of your lane. C. Glance toward the right edge of your lane. To avoid being blinded when driving at night, do not look directly at the headlights of oncoming cars. Instead, look toward the right edge of the road until the oncoming driver has passed. You should use your horn when A. Another vehicle is in your way. B. It may help prevent a collision. C. Another driver makes a mistake. B. It may help prevent a collision. Only use your horn when it is necessary to avoid collisions. Do not use your horn if a driver or bicyclist is moving slowly and you want him or her to drive faster or get out of your way. It is very foggy. You should slow down in. A. Turn on your emergency flashers. B. Turn your lights to their high beam setting. C. Turn your lights to their low beam setting. C. Turn your lights to their low beam setting. Use your low beams when driving in fog, snow, rain, or mist. Light from high beams will reflect off of precipitation, causing a glare and making it even more difficult to see. Some vehicles are equipped with fog lights that should be used in addition to low beam headlights. If you approach a traffic light with a red signal and a police officer directs you to go through the intersection without stopping, you should A. Stop until the light turns green. B. Go through the intersection without stopping. C. Come to a complete stop before proceeding. B. Go through the intersection without stopping. Instructions given by police officers directing traffic always override posted traffic signals and signs. Follow the officer's instructions. When changing lanes. A. Check your side mirror and look over your shoulder to make sure the lane is clear. B. Check the inside rearview mirror. C. Slow down. A. Check your side mirror and look over your shoulder to make sure the lane is clear. Before changing lanes, you should check your side mirrors and look over your shoulder to make sure it is safe to proceed. An orange colored sign like this means A. There is roadwork ahead. B. You must change lanes ahead. C. There is a detour ahead. A. There is roadwork ahead. Orange colored signs indicate construction areas. 
Proceed with caution. You may legally block an intersection. A. If you entered the intersection on the green light. B. During rush hour traffic. C. Under no circumstances. C. Under no circumstances. Even if the light is green, you may not enter an intersection unless you can get completely across before the light turns red. If you block the intersection, you can be cited. This sign means A. You are approaching the end of a divided highway. B. You are approaching the beginning of a divided highway. C. The road will be slippery ahead. B. You are approaching the beginning of a divided highway. This sign indicates that a divided highway begins ahead. Keep to the right of the median divider. Blue traffic signs offer information on A. Motorist services B. Construction and maintenance C. Mileage information, such as distances to specific locations A. Motorist services Blue signs on the roadway are service signs. They are used to provide information about motorist services such as upcoming rest areas, food options, or nearby hospitals. When parking next to a curb, you should use your turn signals. A. Only when pulling away from the curb. B. When pulling next to, but not away from, the curb. C. When pulling next to or away from the curb. C. When pulling next to or away from the curb. Drivers should signal when pulling next to a curb or away from a curb. When passing another vehicle, you should return to your original lane when A. You can see both headlights of the passed vehicle in your rear view mirror. B. You have cleared the front bumper of the passed vehicle. C. You are 50 feet in front of the passed vehicle. A. You can see both headlights of the passed vehicle in your rear view mirror. When passing another vehicle, move back into your original lane only when you can see the passed vehicle's headlights in your rear view mirror. This ensures that you will have enough room to safely pull back in front of the other vehicle. When approaching an intersection with a flashing red light, drivers should A. Come to a complete stop before proceeding. B. Proceed, as they have the right of way. C. Slow down but continue through the intersection without stopping. A. Come to a complete stop before proceeding. A flashing red light at an intersection means you must stop completely before proceeding. Treat a flashing red light the same as you would a stop sign. A red arrow pointing to the right on a traffic light means you may A. Turn in that direction after slowing and checking for traffic. B. Not turn in that direction until the light turns green. C. Turn in that direction after you come to a complete stop. You may cross double yellow lines to pass another vehicle if the A. Vehicle in front of you moves to the right to let you pass. B. Yellow line next to your side of the road is broken. C. Yellow line next to the opposite side of the road is broken. B. Yellow line next to your side of the road is broken. A broken yellow line in the center of the road indicates that traffic next to the broken yellow line may pass, if it is safe to do so. If you encounter an aggressive driver, you should A. 
Challenge them. B. Get out of their way. C. Speed up. B. Get out of their way. Drivers must respect and cooperate with all other road users and conform to specific rules in order to maintain order and to avoid crashes. When encountering an aggressive driver, it is safest to just get out of their way. Always avoid competing with other drivers. What should you do if you are being approached by an emergency vehicle using its flashing lights? A. Pull over to the right side of the road and come to a complete stop. B. Continue driving, but try to stay out of its way. C. See if you can reach your destination before the emergency vehicle catches up to you. A. Pull over to the right side of the road and come to a complete stop. The law requires motorists to move over for police cars, fire trucks, and ambulances using flashing lights and sirens or air horns. Drivers should pull over to the right edge of the road, or as near to the right edge as possible. If you are in an intersection, drive through the intersection before pulling over. This road sign means A. Intersection ahead. B. Steep grade ahead. C. Winding road. B. Steep grade ahead. Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. This sign indicates that there is a steep hill ahead. Slow down and be ready to shift to a lower gear to control your speed and protect your brakes from damage. You must obey instructions from school crossing guards. A. At all times. B. Only during school hours. C. Unless you do not see any children present. A. At all times. Drivers should be alert to the presence of crossing guards when near a school and must always obey their instructions. This road sign means. A. You are about to enter a one-way street from the wrong direction. B. U-turns are prohibited. C. You may proceed if the way is clear. A. You are about to enter a one-way street from the wrong direction. This sign marks a one-way road, entrance, or exit. If you are facing this sign, traffic is coming toward you. Turn around if you are driving toward this sign.